Give it up for Mike Cannon, everyone's favorite lesbian. <laughs> What's up, buddy? You had a nice time. I like you, dude. You've had a nice time. When I came into the show, so I have to be honest with you, I thought for sure you did not speak English. But you have been laughing along, and you do speak English. Does he speak English? He's Canadian. Are you Canadian? You look like you're in Hamas. And so close. You're just almost a homosexual. <laughs> Yeah, I fucking like these puns. <laughs> this guy's on steroids, right? Or it's done them at least? Oh, this guy? You're on yeah. T, right, dude? Fuck Testosterone? You look good, yeah, dude. Right. Relax. No, that's good relaxed. stuff, dude. I want those fucking are you? Ones. Are you also from New York? Negative Ghost Rider. Negative Ghost Rider? <laughs> are you on the spectrum, sir? <laughs> ne the, an the answer of Negative Ghost, Ghost Rider <laughs> It's fun and infuriating at the same time. Like, I want to high-five you and also punch you. Ne who says negative Ghost Rider? A fucking boomer, that's it. Yes. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going home, and when I get home Sunday, anytime my kids ask me a question, I'm going to say negative Ghost Rider. That's how I'm going to just present my HPV results to my wife. <laughs> negative, negative Ghost, Ghost Rider. Rider. We're clear. Dude, your shirt is tight. tight. And do you, you have HPV, good. sir? HPV, HPV, human papillomavirus, you have it? You don't have it? Pussy. We, you gotta have it, dude. You ain't out there, fuck it. If you don't have HPV, you're not having any fun. That's, That's right. you know? Who has HPV admitted? Yeah! Yes, sir. That guy also has full-blown AIDS. <laughs> yeah, that is. Um, HPV go. is the least of your problems. Yes, HPV. <laughs> Who yelled like that? Oh my God. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. I told you, I told you that this is the fourth or fifth time I've been in the last 18 months. And I said in the green room, I can't come back to Phoenix for like another two or three years. I just can't do it. I'm going to change that right now. I'm going to come, listen to me. I'm going to come back here next year, okay? If this man in the corner is still alive, I will give him my entire paycheck from the weekend. <laughs> what do you think of this crowd versus the first crowd? I like this crowd. It's his birthday, too. It's that sweet little prince's birthday. Chris Mike and Eddie. Damn right. I fucking like this guy, dude. Yeah, he's a good kid. 31 years old. Four years to middle age. Oh, you don't plan on living too I like long. it, dude. You look like you look like an ironic mailman. <laughs> right? <laughs> Dude, if Mr. Rogers' neighborhood was in yeah. downtown Brooklyn. Yes. You look like at the same time a pedophile and a victim. <laughs> this guy looks like Jeffrey Dahmer. If I <laughs> Hey, you do. I mean, Sir. Hell yeah. Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Jeff, I know you're not gay, but Jeffrey Dahmer, let me tell you something right now. If you want to eat a black man, he's right here. That's what it is. You just, I'm saving it. Eat him first. He's black. Sicilian? He said he's black and Mexican. Oh, 23 and me. Uh-oh. Yeah. Anybody Native American out there? Are you? Nice. From what tribe? Kashana, Louisiana tribe. Sweet. My cousin's from over there. Um... I want to say on behalf of America, we're sorry for taking your land. No problem. I'm reading a lot about it now. Um, I, I somebody also, said we're not. <laughs> hey, I also just saw Killers of the Flower Moon. <laughs> I apologize. Now, do you, have you ever been on a reservation? You live on a reservation? And then you get off. How do you get off the reservation? You can't just leave. You have a native joke? Here we go. Just say it. Here we go. Just say it. Just let me remind you there's a black and Mexican crowd, so. Okay, so there, I'm terrible at fucking telling jokes, too. There's a white guy and a native guy fishing in a pond. One, they both fall asleep, and when they wake up, all the native guy's worms are still there, and all the white guy's worms are gone. Okay? Native guy, or white guy asked the native guy, how come all your worms are still there? It's because the, every time a native worm tries to get out, they're, they're native worms, every time they try to get out of the, uh, the bucket, 
all the other worms pull them back down. Here you go, folks. And that was a TED Talk yeah. brought to you. But that's it, sir. I'll tell you what. This is why, unfo- let me tell you something. This is why we needed to steal your land and make a comedy club. <laughs> is, I'm sorry, sir. Even your elders were like, no, shut up. <laughs> Your Short, elders were your elders, shorten the setup. Your elders like look, look, have him shut his running mouth. Also, how how, running did mouth that, shut. how did that joke not involve a blanket? <laughs> I like you though, dude. You got fucking. Comp- he's got. You know what Native yeah. Americans have? Bravery. He's fucking That's brave. Right. hundred percent. Trying again. How do Native men like their women? How do Native men like their women? Like fry bread, round, brown, and greasy. Like fry bread, round, brown, and greasy. Nice. That I like. I like that, that dude. I like. <laughs> All right. Anybody got a question, and then we'll go. She has a question. Oh no. Oh, oh what? I didn't you. It's your dad's birthday. He's a Vietnam vet. Sure. We'll get. So no loud noises. Yes. <laughs> yes. Neither of our name is Charlie. Okay, I got it. What's his name, Bob? Here we go. Bob Kennedy. Bob Kennedy? Bob. Okay, there we go. From Michigan. From Michigan. So, like this. All right, go. Hey, Bob Kennedy. Bobby. Uh, Bobby, what's up, sir? I just want to say happy birthday. I heard you're a Vietnam vet. I hope you're proud in taking part of the systemic killing of innocent people of <laughs> Vietnam. I'll do it for you. i do it for you. i do it for you. All right, let's go. Okay. Fuck you. Thank love you, guys. Love you, guys. Happy birthday. Right, good night. <laughs> Bye-bye. Have a good night. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Thank you. This guy, here you go. Were you getting up? You all right? There it is. I thought Rowdy Rowdy Piper was dead. And so um, Michael is as high as can be. <laughs> Chris and I took edibles to see Napoleon today. Yes. Do you guys like living here during the summer months, though? Is it like, yeah? What do you do? Is it just indoor nonstop? What'd you say? You sweat your balls off. Sweat your balls off. Dude, I was here once. He's going to blog about that. (laughs) Um. Dude, you really do look like you write for Huffington Post. You really do. He does. I told you, he looks like he's got the best blog for the gay bar night scene in Phoenix. (laughs) Sweating your balls off. (laughs) Wait, what's the place? The guy said last night, is it Freddy's? That's the gay what's place? The gay bo- He's making believe he doesn't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's like, oh, I don't know. As soon as you walk in, like, hey, what's up, Matt? <laughs> Every seat has a fist on it. Yes. <laughs> this guy, you, dude, you got to be on testosterone, right? Look, this guy's just sitting there. Are you on? Yeah, you doing Are, yeah he's on test, dude. That's Fuck fucking yeah. is, baby. You're fully on test. So that, yeah. that means when you're on test, you can't uh, get a woman pregnant, right? You had a vasectomy? Nice. But you fucking balloon up your dick, huh? Like, would you recommend the vasectomy? Is it painless? Can I it ask, hurt? Can I ask you this? Is it still like a show? <laughs> she goes, yes. Yes, yes, it is. She's like, that's why. She goes, I, that's why I'm always wearing glasses. I don't need them <laughs> for my eyesight. It's just heat sprays. I bought and, a fucking poncho. Yes, I will not go to work again with pink eye. And, <laughs> I like you. You do look like a finance guy, too, kind of. Like, you look like when you do come, you go, Bitcoin! <laughs> and... <laughs> do you work in the finance space? You're in the fitness space? Oh, you're in the fitness space. Yeah, you kind of look like you can have, like a, like a... Remember what's that? P90X? Yeah. He's like a P90X guy. Yeah, you look like white Billy Blanks. <laughs> yes. Do you have, like, a fitness video or blog or something? So what do you do in the fitness industry? You work? Youth Performance Center. Hey, I got a possible first round draft pick. Her name's Peyton Esmeralda. She, she's playing hockey, soccer. She's. <laughs> Might be a utility infielder. Yes, she can do, she can do anything. I'm still kind of high. I, I am. Dude, it's not even kind of. I am in the thick of it. Yeah. I am yeah. truly in the thick of it. I want it to end. This guy with his earrings, he kind of looks like from Street Fighter. Yeah. Who was it, Saget? <laughs> no, not Saget. What's his name? 
Dolls team. Dolls yeah, team. He looks like Dolls team. With the arms. With the fucking just. Yes. Yeah. Do you get that a lot? You look. <laughs> so you go for that. Yeah. No? Okay. Well, you, yeah. You look like a street fighter. That's pretty sick. What, what do you do with those earrings? <laughs> like, where do you work? He's like, I'm in the fitness industry. <laughs> Are you? Are you? What do you do in the fitness industry? You do body work? Oh, nice. Like a chiropractor? What is, what is it? It's like structural integration. Structural integration. <laughs> I love how everybody's kind of a plastic surgeon here. Do you need like a degree for that? What, what's the degree in? A certification? What is it? Oh, massage therapy. Just say you're a masseuse. Yeah. You. I love what a guy, yeah, it's, he tried to make like he's a mechanic. Yeah, I work on the body, structural integration, <laughs> transmission. I said, you're a gay little masseuse. You are just a gay little masseuse. Gonna blog about it. Uh, <laughs> he made it sound like he's fucking Dr. Frankenstein yeah. cobbling bodies back together, but he's just oiling the backs of men. <laughs> Anybody else? Yes. There it is. There it is. I like, this is what I call the hepatitis table. And, yeah. Biden versus Trump. Dude. Ma'am, we know who you are voting for. <laughs> Has there ever been a more, like, fighting way of in yes. introducing a topic? Yeah. I love Biden, Biden versus Trump. Trump. And say the wrong one and I'll kill you. Kill you. Biden versus Trump. What are you going to do to keep Donald Trump alive, man? That's what... And kill Biden, right? You... I feel like your name is Trish. Or Charlene. Don't... Don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. Ma'am, you're not supposed to drink on Xanax. Ma'am, you really aren't. You're going to be the first person to give the Wemo car a DUI. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at that. All right, we'll see you later. That's good enough. We got the light. Thank you. Have a good night, folks. Good night. Get home safe, lady.